Okay, let's um, let's move on. So to some of these uh, kind of very niche, very minor updates, we won't really talk about them too much. Um, you have access to the update deck. You can, of course, go straight to Google Workspace updates as well. Um, so the first one's very niche. It's just talking about Google Vault now supports uh, client-side encrypted emails. It's quite niche. We'll, we'll, we'll pass we'll pass that one on. Right, the next one is pretty cool. So um, a couple of months ago, Google launched the ability to present um, Google Slides and control Google Slides directly in a Google Meet, which is what I'm doing right now. And it gives you those controls in the bottom to move backwards and forwards through your slides, to exit the slides as well. What's now coming is the ability to see your speaker notes in the Google Meet as well. So you would see your slide deck as this animated um, GIF is displaying. You'll see your slides, and then you'll see your speaker notes side by side. I think that's a really, really cool um, update for Google Slides. I don't have it yet. It was announced last week. It'll be rolling out over the next um, 15 days to rapid release, and then it, all the details are linked here, so you can click through. OK, um, a couple of minor updates to Google Chat. So Google Chat has, um, I think there's one about emojis. We're coming up. But it's a couple of updates to make it easier to use Google Chat. And one of them is around making it easier to just to create conversations. So there's a slightly different workflow on creating conversations in Google Chat. Okay, here are the um, emojis for Google Meet. I was gonna mention Google Chat. Yeah, emojis for Google Meet have launched. So now you have reactions which you can add. Um, and you might see them in the bottom bar already. They've launched for me already. And so you can add in reactions, whatever emojis you may want to do. As you've just discovered, it's that little bottom of, button at the bottom in the middle. And I can see everybody's happily discovered that. Um, I haven't actually looked into the details of this, but presumably you're able to turn this off. Peter or Charlie, do you know if you can turn this off? I'm just looking now, actually. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking that could be quite disruptive in a class of teenagers. OK, moving on. Um, so again, very niche update here. Um, if you have booked a physical room uh, using Google Calendar, then if it's been booked for a meeting, then everybody declines the meeting apart from one person, then that room availability is freed up. So if you're using Google Calendar and then using it for room management, booking room management, it's just, um, it's just an update for that. Uh, this is quite good, 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 admin, good admin feature here. Um, you can now manage all of your API activity from API activity from a single location. And so you, you um, full details are in here, but it's all in a single location now. So you don't need to go hunting for the activity you're looking for. Okay, so there is um, and there's not really much to talk about this, but there's been some updates to using voice typing within docs and slides. It's more sort of back end usability. You don't see any um, new features or anything like that. It's just made, made the Google Voice feature or the voice typing features within Docs and Slides better and improved. So you should see um, redu a reduction in transcription errors. You see re a reduction in, in general errors when you're using voice typing. OK, a minor update to Google Docs. So now you can see um, line breaks, page breaks, and so on using um, tags within your document. Google Voice now has enhanced spam protection. Now I know that for uh, schools in the Middle East, you do not have Google Voice um, access yet, nor in Asia, only in Japan, I think Google Voice is, is rolled out. Um, Peter, maybe just to jump to you for a second, because you ran Google Voice at um, Barton previously. Um, just again, a shameless plug here. Apps events for supported countries. We are now a Google Voice partner as well. If anybody has any questions about that, especially for UK and Europe, if you have any questions about that, please contact Peter or myself and we, we can go to more depth about how that would look. 
Okay, another sort of minor Google chat um, update, and that's just using search chips. Now you can use search chips with it within Google chat as well, just to find a conversation or find a thread. And you can see from a GIF again, you can see how that, how that looks. Um, more filters for Google Meet. I think we will uh, pass that one by. Tim, Tim Evans, got any top picks for the Google Meet filters? No, James, I have yet to yet to explore. I'll be, I'll give you I was looking to pick on. I was looking to pick on someone, Tim. Thanks, mate. Pick um, away, pick away. <laughs> Finally, uh, Google Voice standard customer. So within Google Voice, and this is specific to schools using Google Voice, um, there are different packages within Google Voice. The standard is the most basic package. What that just means is that you can assign numbers from other countries in your region. So for example, if you were a, a multi-campus domain, um, a multi, uh, multi-school domain um, with a single tenancy, perhaps there's a school in France, Italy, and the UK, but you could assign UK numbers to all of your campuses or all of your users. And that's within Google Voice. And again, Peter, is there anything you want to add to that? No, I think you've uh, just about covered it there. Um, but yeah, absolutely another useful feature if you're spanning across different countries. Yeah. And I just really like Google Voice in general. I think it's a, yeah, a great product, which Google need to shout about a bit more. Yeah, hopefully it gets launched to more regions. But we'll see. And presumably they're restricted on the big telecom com companies. Okay, small update late um, late in December, just um, an updated experience for exporting your organization's data. You now have a couple of extra options. Rather than exporting the entire organization's data, now you can do it by organizational unit or by group. So a couple of additional um, ways to export your data. I've got a feeling we talked about this client side encryption for Gmail. I think we've mentioned that before. Um, oh, here's an up, yeah, updated. I think this is the last one we'll, we'll talk about. There is um, expanding support for captions and translated captions in Google Meet. So Japanese and Mandarin and Swedish. Um, English can now be translated into those languages, and you can also translate French, German, Portuguese, Spanish into English. So that's what, what's being supported currently. I think other languages are, are pending rollout in the future. And I think that is it for workspace updates.